Hello, hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to teach you about how to test goods received against purchase order by using standard BAPI. You can use this knowledge when you are making any kind of uh, program or uh, you're making any customization like custom R RFC, you are calling directly from other system to SAP. Like you can pass these fields in the respect to BAPI. And also this knowledge of uh, BAPI knowledge, how to test by using BAPI, you can utilize for any other transactions like creating purchase order or creating sales order. Anywhere you can use this uh, respect to knowledge. So today we're going to check this um, BAPI goods moment create. So what are the input fields if you want to create goods received against purchase order? So these are the fields available at the header level. Like you need to pass the posting date. So both posting date and document date. So the date format, you can see uh, how was the system which is allowing, okay? So in this system, we are going to follow like um, uh, dd.mm.yyy. And if you like, you can uh, in IDOC and all when you're working that one, generally it will be yymmdd. So in that way, we are going to use it. So here, you can system is allowed in 10. I, I tried with uh, dots. So reference document number, you can give any kind of a reference document. So as an optional field, even for um, GR, you can even remove it also. So goods movement code must be given as 01. That is the 01 is designed for the GR. Material number, plant code, and storage location. You can pass where you are going to receive. Certain kind of cases, what happens? Plant will be available in the purchase order, but storage location won't be available. So these details can be passed. Even uh, when you are uh, not passing the information, it will copy from the purchase order and item. But anyway, as part of the GR, the material needs to be verified. If it is coming from the third party, I recommend to pass the material at plant and location. So especially the material number, because exactly what material they received, that can be passed. If both are not matching with PO and PO item, definitely you will get error messages. Movement type is 101 and stock type and all optional, not required for GR. And uh, if you want to avoid and more crispy way, we can even delete those fields. And quantity, how much quantity was received, that needs to be given received quantity and um, unit of entry unit of entry you can uh, keep it blank because it will come from the purchase order or you can pass that unit of entry purchase order price unit whether it is per unit uh, those things also will come you can uh, remove it because it comes from the purchase order when you have a reference document lot of information will come automatically. Okay. So this is the important one. PO number and PO item needs to be given. Delivery complete indicator optional, no need to pass. If you want to give any kind of item text, that can be given here. If you want to, uh, certain information needs to be stored in the GR, item text can be given. And movement indicator needs to be given as B. Okay. This is B for GR English PO. And the transaction commit, what happens whenever you run the BAPI goods moment create, immediately how to run the transaction commit. The same thing, a paper also you will know, or else you also have to mention in your function specification, run transaction commit. Otherwise, what will happen? System will create the document, but it will not update the database. So you will not see anything in MIGO display. So you have to run both at the same time during testing. And in ABAP, uh, in the program wise, he will keep the both the BAPI in the sequence. Okay, I'm going to teach you how to run in sequence of two BAPIs. So let us go to system. You can see in the system all these fields, how I'm passing the data. Go to SC37, BAPI, goods moment create. Generally, when you test for one BAPI, you can directly give here one BAPI or function model directly. But yeah, like I mentioned that you have to run in test sequence wise you have to sequence wise otherwise transaction commit if you first complete create then you run transaction commit it won't work you have to go to function module execute 
test sequences. So then system will ask you what are the BAPIs you want to run. First, I want to run BAPI goods movement create. Second, I want to run BAPI transaction commit. Execute it. So you have to pass all the input fields for a quick thing. I stored the information in uh, test data. Okay, you can store the information or else you have to give input manually. So we are going to give. So today, 18 November, 2024. And I'm going to pass the same thing. Reference document number, bill of lading and all optional. So if you want to pass the bill of lading, you can input the bill of lading. And header text, what, what, what is the purpose of test you are doing? Okay, we can give like uh, GR test for uh, Ganesh Academy, whatever, Ganesh content. Okay. Test for SAP content, okay. anything you can give. And reminding fields, we don't have to input anything. So here the bill of lading only, generally it can be given. The bill of lading, okay. 18, 11, 2024. Any information? So go back. Then the goods movement code was given as 01. And uh, if you want to check test run, you can use it. Otherwise, directly go to goods movement item. Input the material number, plant, storage location, movement type 101, quantity, unit of measure can be blank, it can be taken, purchase order number and purchase order item. I mentioned one more field, right? That is movement indicator, this one. The movement indicator B needs to be given. That's what I mentioned in the Excel sheet. Once you input these things, if you have multiple items, you have to use the new line and add multiple things. Go back and execute it. Once you execute, system will complete the, the main BAPI goods will create first. And you can see some result here. Global company uninstall is not supported. We are getting certain kind of error. Then go back and execute. In transaction coming to be nothing to do. Okay, completed. Let us go and check it whether it is a warning message or a real error. O2 ME23N. And uh, this is the purchase order. Go to PO history. Okay. See the latest document. So 17. So nothing was posted today. Let us try to post manually. Any error will come. Goods received. Purchase order. 137. Because yesterday only I tested it was working fine. Two. Location. RM01. Click on check. Post. Okay. Global company and still not supported. Think someone would have done certain things. Okay. The direct posting function could not be find the global company specified. The global company either uh, enter the document or read from T001 transfer company code. Each global company must be defined in the table T880. Direct posting to GL cannot take place. Check the document and T W H zero. So yesterday someone in the ID system would have done that. Let us check it. What is the T W H zero? Global company 
കോഡ് ഡേറ്റ സ്ലാഷൻ എസ് എം തേർട്ടി വി അണ്ടർ സ്കോർ ടി ഡബിൾ എയ്റ്റ് സീറോ കമ്പനി കോഡ് എൻ എസ് ട്വൽവ് ഓക്കെ So here someone would have removed the company. NS12. NS12 company. Let us check it again. send me go purchase order item okay rm01 quantity 2 post yes someone removed the table twa0 in ida system in real time it won't happen okay now we are going to our sc37 function module execute in test sequence and a good first good moment create transaction commit then use the test data directory i want to change the dates mainly 18th generally you create a test data so that it will be helpful for you next time Okay, 18, 01, 2024, add a text, Ganesh Padala, content, okay, so that information is fine, good moment code is 01, and in item, material, plan, storage location, moment type, quantity how much you want to do the gr po number po item moment indicator b okay these details must be kept once you have done those information now we are going to execute it see this time no result if you have something result there is an error message you can consider click back then the transaction commit we don't have to input anything again execute it completely done see the, here when it is asking comments right you can uh, input like test 03 so when you test that uh, one you will see the data available in the test data direct that's what how you creating you can utilize next time so now i'm going to purchase order and this is 137 go to purchase order history you can see this was the two quantity i posted as part of testing the twa0 error once it is fixed we came to 1811 10 quantity and bill of lading what we have given had a text ganesh padala content and the uh, way tab plant location whatever information you have given that has come here yeah. this is about uh, how to test goods receipt against purchase order with bapi and transaction commit needs to be done i hope you understand about how to uh, practice and how to run it these are the input fields which we have given even you can add the bill of lading and all whatever the information you wanted to incorporate thanks for watching if you really feel that this video is helpful for your work you can uh, rate on udemy or if you are watching this video on youtube you can now share with your circle thank you